Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie the Zidane. I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we'll be going on to another match. This one, Wesley versus Enfer on Trojan Hills, my favorite map! Yay! I love this map. It's so pretty. And it has nice hills. And offers a lot of room for every factory to work in. Which in this case is going to be Cloakie versus Shield, because who needs every factory when we just have those two? Let's go! Wesley going for the shields, as I mentioned. Convict early starts, too. Very... Both of them actually going for a very quick economic start. Zenfer on the Conjurer, and Wesley on the Convict. Curious what they're going to be building up from here, though. Looks like it's likely to just be expanding early. And yeah, indeed. Convict going around the north side of the map, so Wes getting that early expansion. Well, at the same time, Zenfer starting in a really, rather odd spot, honestly. Going for a proxy expansion over the northeast, or over the eastern hill, which... Like, this start location is odd. It's one of those locations where it's theoretically very defensible. It's just difficult to expand out of it. Usually the defensible start is over in the back here, so it's a bit easier to get to the north, the western the western base. Or you start aggressive like what Wes is doing, and then you just expand backwards with a bit of protection. But, no, we're seeing Zenfor being extremely defensive in a start that makes more sense in a team game, I'd say. But I really want to see how this works out, because they do have this eastern hill being built up, and they haven't really been scattered out either. Also, considering their proximity to their opponent's main base and the fact that their opponent is likely not going to look over to the southeast anytime soon, Zenfer actually has a pretty good shot at getting a quick glaive shot, a quick glaive raid, into Wes's base that Wes won't see coming. Especially from an angle they won't see coming. Granted, they have the Lotus in the, in the proper spot to not be really affected by this, but still, considering the effects here, I could see Zenfer managing to get a nice strong rush. Actually, Wes's commander is in the perfect spot. Unfortunately, there's only a couple glaives coming around here. But the glaive around the back managing to get a bit of damage and getting a couple power plants. That's actually something. Wes now no longer has enough energy to be able to maintain their position. And bear in mind, power wind generators on this map are extremely strong. 1.6 minimum means they are the most cost-effective option. And yeah, Wes had more than enough energy before losing that. So, this is really a nice position for Zenfer. However, Zenfer, they will have their hill location scouted out, and Wes is probably going to suspect something's up, considering that why would their opponent be going to the eastern hill, not the western hill? I think, at this point, Wes knows. They haven't scouted it out yet, but I'm sure they know Zenfer's over to the southeast. Still, though, Wes's commander forced to trudge uphill into a Lotus, and into some Rocco's, Lotus and Picket, and then, sorry, Ronin. Forcing the commander back, forcing a bit of a... A bit of a trench warfare situation here with the Stinger being built up by Wes. Overall, though, Wes might still need to be pushed back just because that Stinger alone, that's only going to do so much. Especially with the Glaives coming in here, pushing it back further. Wes unable to maintain the position they have, and again, Zenfer's start location allowing for a lot of aggression. But the one thing I'm concerned about, though, is that at the same time, Wesley is expanding over to the western side of the map, and as Zenfer expands over... To the western side as well, they're actually equally going to have a hard time managing. But, Wes is already in position to stop an expansion western, or stop a westerly expansion, while Zenfer, they haven't done anything to stop Wes, Wes from getting their own northwest expansion. All things considered, Wes is going to be able to win this if the game drags on for more than about 5-6 minutes. If Zenfer manages to get a strong position in the next couple minutes, then it's their game. And it looks like they're going for it. They are managing to send some Glaives over to the northern side, over to stop an expansion from being attempted. And that is going to be a bit tricky. Wesley doing the gar circle guard on those bandits to make sure the Convict has at least some protection. Very smart move there, and it does mean that Zenfer will have a harder time stopping the expansion from being constructed. However, I still like the fact that they are going for that. While at the same time, Wes, while they do have an expansion stopping he potential here, Zenfer's commander is what's doing it. So, with Zenfer's commander handling the expansion, there's no problems here. I mean, the worker went forward, the commander's in the back, which is a little unusual, but it's an engineer commander, so why not? Not to mention, it means the bandits can't really stop it, whereas here, unless the bandits are able to help out perfectly, and they are being helped by the Lotus, but that's the thing, unless they manage to do that, Zenfer's gonna be fine. Really just kinda wish they'd line move. This game has line move in it. It's really handy. It means your units can actually concave rapidly rather than waiting for them to move around themselves. But at any rate, this is still a strong position for Zenfer, as they do have the hill, they do have the high ground. The Ronin are sacrificing the high ground advantage in order to try to hunt down these rogues, which I do not agree with, but at the very least, they're also hunting down the commander, which I do agree with. If they manage to take that out, or at least push that back, that's still going to be worth it. 
So a nice little push from Zen for a bit of a loss on their end. If they got the commander, it would have been worth it. But I think at this point, it's becoming a bit of a waste. And now the Ronin are way too far up front. Those last few did not have to die. But at the same time, at least there is that Glaive Harass going in the back. Looks like remembrance, remnants of the party that was over in the western side of the map trying to prevent expansion. Still managing to stop a bit of these power plants from being stable. It's just a matter of actually managing to get that working. And also pushing the rogues into gil killing the power plants. That is cruel. On the other hand, bandits coming in here from west not finding any value. They will, however, be able to destroy this entire southern expansion. So that's cutting Zenfer's economy down to about 24 metal per second. Still 10 more than Wes has, but it's a bit of progress. It's giving Wes some room to breathe. Not much, mind you. Even with that, only a bit of the power infrastructure was destroyed, and Zenfer still has more than enough. Honestly, they need more build power. But they're good for metal and energy. So with that, Zenfer also managing to maintain the eastern front, and that's the one thing that Wes is going to be able to destroy the eastern front quite quickly. These, this massive army of rogues over in the east should be able to wipe out the entire hill, give that to Wes, and open up a clear path to Zenfer's base. And this is around the time that I was thinking if Zenfer doesn't get a strong position, they are going to lose the match. Really, it's going to come down to this fight here. Because beyond this hill, there is nothing defensively. There are no defensive structures, nothing that's going to stop a dozen rogues. But these glaives might be able to. If they can get past the bandits, they should be fine. There are no outlaws with them, so nothing riot-wise that'll actually be a real hindrance. It's just the bandits. And with those down, the rogues are at least forced back, but if they go too far back, that's the lotuses. The bandits cannot chase. Zenfer has to be really careful with this. They are, however, again going for that commander. They have blood. They're smelling blood in the water with that commander, and they have finally managed to get the kill. At cost to their army, though, that could be a Pyrrhic victory. There are still 14 units here. A dozen rogues with very little opposition. All those glaives did die, but at the same time, Wes with. I mean, West is building up glaives, Zenfer is building up glaives, Zenfer has much more build power and much more metal. So the glaives from Zenfer, they will be able to get back in here, get those rogues gotten rid of, and that should be the secure position that Zenfer needed. Now, at the same time, West is going for a second assault over to the western side of the map, but I don't see that being as effective, considering that the glaives, once they clean up the rogues, they should be able to turn around back. Not to mention, these bandits are going right along the reinforcement path and right into a Stardust. So, two-pronged attacks. While I do like the idea there, Wes, unfortunately, it is not the thing that's going to make it work here. So, with that, the rogues, they j as actually not in a bad spot right now. There aren't that many glaives up here from Zenfer to actually defend. They are much more focused on getting rid of these bandits, trying to sneak around over to the western side of the map, and with not much to defend, not enough to stop six bandits, that is still a scary threat. Still, though, Zenfer has managed to recover, having killed off the commander, they do have a reasonably solid position on this hill, and it's just a matter of making sure that they can stop bandits from doing much damage in the back lines. And unfortunately, for Wes, they can. That was, in fact, enough lotuses for six bandits, as the bandits were not focused on killing all the lotuses as effectively as they could have been. Wes, a bit more focused on his back line, a bit more focused on defending their own expansions. Successfully doing so. But, ooh, actually, maybe not. Ooh, no, the glaive does manage to get past. One glaive sneaking past. Might not be able to kill much. But it will be able to at least provide a little bit of pressure for some forces away from the front here. And that means that these rogues, oh, if weren't for the Lotus, the rogues will be fine. But the Lotus is causing too many problems for the Glaives. And that's one thing I really would like to see Zen produce. Make sure the Glaives do not go past, like, this line. Because if they do, they get hit by the Lotuses. Like, it's right there. They cannot go past that line. They go past here, you die. And the rogues know that. Wesley knows that. They're taking full advantage of it, but even then, they are fighting at a bit of an economic disadvantage. Like, militarily, their advantage is reasonably strong, mostly due to the positioning, honestly, more than anything else. However, with the outlaws coming in here, that is going to be a change. That is going to make the glaives have a harder time. The rogues, however, are still... The runners, however, are still in here. They are still causing problems. But even with that... Even with the Stardust... Wow, that Stardust is getting so much value. Yeah, it's down now, but the amount of value it got... The one big threat here is the fact that this two-pronged attack is destroying all the attention. I mean, these glaives are useful on both sides. M definitely more useful against the rogues, but, I mean, Zenfer has to pay attention to both sides. On top of the fact that Zenfer has to also split their armies between this, and honestly, Wes has a bit of a defender's advantage just by having these lotuses right up front. 
If either of these fronts goes Zenfer's way, it could easily turn around. But Wes being smart about this, pulling back to make sure that if this does go Zenfer's way, Zenfer's going to have a harder time hitting the eastern side with the, Zeus, with the, with the Knights, should say, with the Knights and Ronian. That's going to be the tricky part. And that is a very clever thing to do, because that is also putting more pressure onto the Western Hill, which does have a Stardust as well. But that Stardust is not going to be enough, not against all these thugs, not without any other support. And the Knights and Ronin are trying to help with that. But it looks like, at this point, the Knights are... Now the Knights are going for the Assault. They don't even care about defending. They just want to kill. They just want to force West to rethink their Assault options. Maybe go back a bit. Maybe don't risk their thugs' lives on this little endeavor. But it looks like, no, that is exactly what West wants to do. But the Glaives should be able to stop that. At the same time, though, the eastern side of the map, still no better. It's still a bit of stalemate. So Wes, again, trying to break that stalemate. But at the same time, the western side of the map, that's where Zenfer's getting a lot of mileage. And West might want to pay attention to that rather than trying to keep forcing this eastern hill. Because clearly, Zenfer does not care. Zenfer is confident they can hold that no problem. And I agree with them, especially given that they have managed to take most of the map. Like, look at all this stuff. Look at all this red. That's all the Zenfer. Zenfer's got everything here. And... All they really don't have is an easy way of getting rid of these rogues, but admittedly, the Phantom is still a way. It helps. So with that, Zenfer is able to just wreck up Wes's expansions. Not much can stop them. The sheer might of numbers that Zenfer brings to the table. Gunships are an attempt. Certainly an interesting option. Harpies will be able to one-shot the Glaze, but at this point, it's kind of too late. The Knights will be able to heal handle them. And if not... Well, Gremlins will be coming up very shortly. Gremlins are coming up right now, actually. Emergency build Gremlin. There it is. So there's not a whole lot coming in here. That's going to make Wes's life difficult. Sorry, Wes's life easy. Zenfer's life. Zenfer's life's the one that's currently quite easy and not difficult. And Zenfer's pretty much got this, unless... Well, no, Wes quit, actually. Wes left the game by quit. I I didn't think that... Okay. So yeah, that that's game. Wes has just left... I guess this is just one of those things where Zen first gonna start smashing things up and then eventually it'll all die. Cause yeah, it's pretty clear that there's nothing more happening. Yeah, Zen for okay, so that So that was really a very clever little game there. Like, Zenfer managed to get a pretty strong opening with an unusual starting location. But thanks to that, and thanks to all the attention that Wes put into that, Zenfer was able to still expand around the rest of the map, but Wes was mostly focused on breaking this hill. So nicely done, Zenfer. Taking the game by just forcing your opponent's attention. Very clever little approach. I like it. Also, why does it say... Oh, Zenfer's got that. Well, at any rate, Zenfer takes the match in the most drawn-out way possible. But that is still game. So, wow, Zenfer... Yeah, they were pretty even for a while, and then West just got completely destroyed trying to take out that hill. I mean, their army value was way higher, too, but this hill... They could not abide that hill near their... <laughs> they could not abide the hill near their base being taken by their opponent. So... Yeah, I think that might be why West just did not want to have this game cast, or did not want to watch, just covering their eyes, just, to, no, I don't want to see this, no! And actually left the stream, briefly. But next game will not involve Wes. Next game will be Rar and Gorda on Gekko Isle. So that should be fun, that should be less traumatizing for the people playing, because, man, that, that game there, Zenfer, that was, that was scary. That was a scary amount of getting in your opponent's head. I'm quite impressed. So yeah. Raw and Gota on Gekka Wild. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a couple of minutes. Come on.